And there we go. That's another box finished. And I only have about... Uh, lots more to go. <sighs> Amid sure has ordered quite a bit of nails this time. I wonder... Just what in the name of the starving serpent does he need with all of this? I mean... He has ordered enough for him to be building two barns. He could be redoing his fence. He's been talking about that every so often. Eh, perhaps I will ask him once I get them boxed up and delivered. Speaking of which... No time to dilly-dally. Hmm? Ah, well... Look who's back among the living. Good morning, sweetheart. <coughs> ah, and I see you've brought Deacon with you as well. Come here, boy. <coughs> ah, did you have fun sleeping with your friend? Yes, you are so happy to see your buddy again, eh? <coughs> ah. Well, sweetheart, I'm glad to see you up and about. You had me a bit worried, if I'm being honest. I had thought that adventurers were the type to spring out of their bedrolls at the crack of dawn's first light, and yet, here you are, sleeping in quite a bit. <laughs> I suppose you're right. The countryside can survive for at least one morning without your help. <laughs> your trip here must have been a rough one, eh? Sailing from the bronze tops all the way to Zelhas. That is quite a long time to be on the sea, my friend. I know firsthand how exhausting that must be. Ah, uh, but I'm sure you're bored of talking about all of your journeys. We did plenty of that over dinner last night. You must be hungry, yes? Well, unfortunately, you have missed a wonderful sunrise. But, you just so happen to be in time to enjoy a bit of breakfast. Now pull up a stool. Take a seat. Should be ready in a minute now. Mmm. -hmm. Do you smell that, my friend? My forges burn hot enough to turn steel into butter, but when its embers are just warming up, it does make for a fine grill for a little bit of a hearty breakfast. It's been a bit of a ritual of mine. I always start the day off like this. Keeps the body strong, you see. Meats, cheese, and bread... All washed down with a quick mug of ale. A feast compared to what you can find on the road. Here, enjoy a plate, sweetheart. Hmm? Sweetheart, are you still waking up over there? You have a bit of a far-off look in your eyes right now. Huh? My chest? What are you talking... Oh, ah, uh, sorry. It didn't even occur to me that I didn't have a shirt on. I am, well, a bit used to living on my own, and not really needing to worry about being decent most of the time. If you are uncomfortable seeing me like this, I can... Go put something on real quick. It's just I tend not to wear much beyond what I need to when the workload is as light as today. It gets quite hot here, as you understand, but I'm not going to be working with heat and sparks intense enough that my skin can't handle it. I just have my shirt over there on the bench. I can... Oh... Are you sure? You don't mind? 
All right. As long as you say so, then I'm fine with it as well. Oh, do I look bigger than you remember? Oh, um, thank you. I've been getting quite a lot of business as of late. The constant forging for months at a time with new projects rolling in, combined with the increase in social standing, has really made me grow, both as a person and literally. You know, it is always in an orc's nature to grow in the face of adversity, and with this workload, certainly has been a rough couple of months. I've always been strong, but now my arms and shoulders are thick with muscle, and I stand taller than ever before. Uh, you can come see for yourself if you'd like. <laughs> it's no big deal, sweetheart. Come, feel the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? All heavy muscle. The physique of an artist who works with fire and steel. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Serpent willing, my forges will stay busy, and I will find even yet more challenges to surpass. <sighs> but unfortunately, today is not the day for such lofty ideals. No matter if my blood craves to create the next masterpiece. No. Today I'm boxing up nails. A smaller, but no less appreciated task for those who need it. It is no doubt nowhere near as exciting as you are used to, but alas, somebody needs to do it all the same. And just between you and me, sweetheart, I am the best at it. Not bragging, though. I welcome some healthy competition, however outclassed they are. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> being proud of making small things like nails and horseshoes might sound a bit dull, and at times it certainly is, but these are things that the people around here need, what they rely on me to provide in the best ways that I can, a simple but honest life. A fulfilling one. Ah, but enough of my rambling. Please, eat. Oh, you're going at it quite quickly. Was it that good, or is eating quickly just a holdover from the adventuring life? Both, eh? <laughs> Thank you. You know, you have developed quite a few little quirks that I can't help but wonder if they were developed with your life on the road. Well, for starters, you are still wearing your sword. That is a strange thing to do around here in such a peaceful place. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. Staying vigilant in case of danger, that certainly is an adventurer's trait. Well, we're on the topic. How has that sword been treating you? Incredibly. <laughs> I would want no less of my handiwork. Though it has been some time since I've serviced it. If you wouldn't mind, I would very much like to see it. I'm sure you've been taking care of it, but it pays to make sure everything on it is just right. Uh, 
Thank you, sweetheart. This should only take a moment. Mm-hmm. Ah. Yes. Very nice. Still in great condition. Ah. The edge could use a little bit of work. A little bit of rolling there. Seems like typical monster hide is a bit tougher up in the bronze tops, eh? Uh, nothing rattling, so the pins are all still good. The handle is worn, but it fits the hand nicely. Mm. The gold inlay could use a little bit of touching up, little cosmetic details. Yes, I believe I can do all of that here. Other than the little bits of detail work, it is just as beautiful as the day it left my forges. <laughs> you know, I still remember the feeling of sprinting down the docks, with this wrapped in a cloth under my arm, charging through the town like a pack of hungry saber-tooths were behind me. All to make it to you before you got on that very first ship. Even all of these years later, I still remember how your eyes lit up when you first laid eyes on this blade. You know, I spared no expense in making this. I spent months working on it in secret, making sure that each piece was crafted and fit to perfection. Enchanting was never a strong suit of mine, but the magic within this is my finest work yet. <laughs> Funny to think that a sword of all things is my finest work. You know how I feel about them. Yes, that's right. I don't like violence. A sentiment that many works share reminds us of well, a bad time in our history. I've only heard stories, but apparently things were different for us before the Sundering. We were different. We revered the warrior, the conqueror, the slaughter. But afterwards, when we picked ourselves back up, we changed. Now we value the artist, the craftsman, the poet. More productive things. Yes, it's true. You surely must have wondered why you haven't seen any weapons being made here. Feathers Fall Forges makes many things. Tools, construction supplies... Decorations. And I've even started to make farm equipment. But it has only ever made one weapon. One sword made by my hands. And now, it rests in yours. You can see how this... conflicts me, in a way. I don't savor the idea of something I've made being used for violence. Yet, the thought of you coming to harm is unacceptable to me. <clears throat> but, you have proven that you are formidable on your own. You don't need to be coddled. Least of all by me. Huh? What's the matter? I... I could have went with you. <sighs> Sweetheart. You don't know how many times I have laid awake at night wishing that I had. To have stepped on that boat and 
gone on all of those grand adventures to see the world, experience all it has to offer. But I know that deep down I would crave the comforts of home before too long. Bouncing from inn to inn, to and fro, I would just find myself missing the creak of my favorite chair as I relax on the porch with Deacon. I'd long for the warmth of the sun mixing with the heat of the forge and ending a hard day of work by sleeping peacefully in my own bed, never tormenting myself, wondering if I was going to be ambushed in the middle of the night. They are small comforts, I realize, but they are so very precious to me. As much as I wanted to, sweetheart, I just couldn't go with you. I'm a great blacksmith, but to be honest, I would make a terrible adventurer. <laughs> it's nice to know that you have such faith in me. Still, that is not my way. But I can still support you and yours, sweetheart. A craftsman is always happy to see his work being of use, and it is even more of a special thing when it is gifted with care and detail to somebody that they care deeply for. Of course I do, sweetheart. Every time I catch the horizon in my sight, I wonder if you are just beyond it, coming back here to see me again. As I've told you before, you always have a place here, sweetheart. Remember that wherever adventure takes you, I'll be waiting. Uh, I've probably said too much. Sorry, you know how artists can get. <clears throat> Starting to get a bit hot in here, yes? I should get this work done. But maybe after it's over, we could go out for a while. There are plenty of shows in town and quite a few wonderful gardens to explore. If you'd be willing, of course. Yes? All right. It's a date. We'll go after my work is done. And though I can't get it done quickly enough, 